and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae Risky's Revenge, Director's Cut. Last time we actually made it through all of Hypno Baron's Tower, which to my surprise, I thought it would take two videos. Um, but here he is. Cackle Cackle, he must be the genie looking for the magic seals, yes? That's right. You have two and now you're here for the final one. You've outsmarted Risky Boots, you're very, very smart. Plus we had plastic explosives, which apparently she didn't have. She'll never be able to restore the magic lamp now. You're a hero. The townspeople will thank you. Is this a mind game? If you've got something to say, say it. But your uncle is keeping secrets from you. What do you know about that? What does that lamp do anyway? Ha 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 ha. Oh, okay. Gotta find your uncle. Information that valuable is not coming away for free, but if you have what it takes to destroy your uncle, then you deserve to know the lamp's true power. You might look like him, but you're not my uncle. Give me everything you've got. Uh, wrong button. Okay, so we want to do this because this is broken. Uh, I found a broken strat. Uh, last time. So he teleports around the room, chucking spells that do damage. Um... All you have to do is basically figure out where he teleports to, and uh, apparently what I figured out is the spike ball apparently like interrupts some of his attacks, which is really cheap actually. Um, it's actually way easier than even Squid Baron, uh, and even that fight wasn't that bad once I figured out to use the monkey form. Also, I'm a little bit disappointed that this doesn't actually use the mermaid power. And that the elephant power wasn't used for a boss either. Which just kind of feels like a bit of an oversight, actually, not having uh, powers that you obtain in the dungeon actually being used in that dungeon. Though I think we actually got the elephant elsewhere, never mind. Um, actually, no, wait, this is actually the only, only second dungeon because the only other magic seal was from the tower, the, the tower dungeon place. Um, I'm not being as careful as I could be. Um, so heal, uh, and then resume this strategy. Okay, I actually didn't know he could do that attack. I did not see that last time. Um, it's actually really funny that I went the entire fight and didn't see a single attack because it just went so quickly. And that's it, we're done. Break the skull, and we're done. Turn that off, and collect the magic seal. Uh, I'm pushing buttons. Okay, there we go. That's strange. Now that I've got all three magic seals, I half expect Risky Boots to make a, a grab for them. Now's my chance to get them to my to Uncle Mimic's workshop back in Skulltown. Wait, didn't he say that he'd give us like information and then we ended up killing him, <laughs> essentially? Um though we didn't kill him. Spoiler. Hypno Baron is in Pirate's Curse, I think. Maybe half genie hero, I'm not entirely sure. But I know he's in at least one of the other games. Oh wait, I'm dumb. Discard me something. You got a new power. What? Oh, that's not a new power. Um, let's actually try this. Not sure how this will work. But uh, yes, there's underwater secrets. Only problem is because we don't have the attack for the mermaid yet, we can't really do a whole lot with it right now. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer. So if we come across anything that we need to attack, then we can't actually attack, so that's going to create problems. But still, that's a helpful little shortcut. Dodge a few enemies. Actually, that greatly reduces the time it took to get out there. Is it this building? Uh, apparently not this building. Do I have to go back to the lighthouse? I'm trying to remember where the uncle was. I think it was actually by the lighthouse. Speaking of which, there's actually a lot of water here as well, so let's actually look in here. 
Uh, I read something about there being a secret in here, and I don't know where, but it's generally in the vicinity of the lighthouse. Um, someone up there. Oh, they're all gathered up there, cool. <laughs> I'm just hanging around down here, trying to find secrets that I probably can't even access yet, because I don't have that last power-up. Huh. Yeah, we can't do this yet. Oh well, worth a shot. Okay, so those fish obviously are bad, the blue ones with the one eye, that's not fishy at all, I guess you could say. Okay, nothing, so let's just go back on our merry way. Hello. Shantae, there you are. We were looking all over for you. What's going on? Where's Uncle Mimic? You're not gonna like this. Found a ransom note in the workshop. Oh no. Take a look. Maybe you should sit down. No, please read it. Whiskey Boots says she took your uncle and, sh and will trade his life for the three magic seals you've got. She's hiding out in the lamp's original resting place, somewhere east of here. You know what she's talking about? Poor uncle, this is all my fault. East? That means he's over by the mayor's private retreat? Wait, mean, that's east? Don't be stupid. That would put him near the old boat boathouse. What kind of moron? Well, blah. What kind of moron does know east from west? Okay, that that explains it. Please don't argue. I need help coming up with a plan. I can help. Hi. <laughs> Who's this guy? You got it all wrong. Whiskey boots didn't take your old friend. It was that zombie gal. Roddy tops. She'd never. Besides, why should I believe you? Didn't you explode in a huge stage clear sequence? Hey, don't blame me for putting up a fight. The pirate lady was threatening me and my babies if I didn't hand over, over my magic seal. She really shook things up and now my kids have run off, run off. Whether you believe it or not, that zombie and pirate are in cahoots and that's a fact. That sounds fishy. Why would you come here? Why well, strike a deal, naturally. Miss Boots <laughs> will be expecting you to fight on her terms. But there's a back door to our hideout that might just give you an advantage. If you agree to save my three golden babies, I'll show you how to open the path to Whiskey's hideout. Hmm, either way she knows I'm coming. What do you guys think? If Whiskey's hideout is underwater my birds can't do squat for you. You might have to trust this guy. Might be a stinker, but I think he's telling the truth. Wow. Okay, you've got yourself a deal. Where do I start? Okay, close by. That's good. One of them has an artifact that will help you enter the back door of Whiskey's lair. Let's get this done quickly. Uncle Mimic needs me. Okay, so this creates the problem of how do we actually find them. <laughs> uh, I guess we just swim. If he said it was nearby. Hello! <laughs> uh, conspicuous path is conspicuous. Okay, is that just a shortcut or is this a new area? It's apparently a new area. Uh, hello, what's this? Heart holder, cool. Um, sweet. <laughs> okay, um, so I guess just all. So when they say in this area, do they just mean like. Okay, I see what they're saying. Um, I think they're saying that's just basically along the, any of these water spots that you see on the map. But there are four of them. So that doesn't really narrow it down at all. Um, guess to check each one. So... Wait, shoot, that's the wrong power. Okay. So let's see. What? What was this area called again? And was there even water here? It's actually by the save point, so I think I'm actually going to go to the town. And then go to the fields. Because I don't really want to traverse that again. That Delph Death Pit area. No, thank you. Um. Okay, so actually let's start east and work west. I think that would be more efficient. Um, by efficient, I mean, eh, uh, yeah, I don't know if that would be more efficient. 
So... Wait, where are we? Okay. Is it the... The question is, there are three pools of water. And I'd like for it to be this one, because I don't have to make it all... Make it all the way over to the other side, but I don't think the game's gonna be that convenient. Okay, let's check down here. Um... Worth a shot, at least. Okay, so where could this be? Another false wall, or floor in this case, so that's a good sign. I wonder if you can actually find the squids early. Like, if you actually have to see the prompt, essentially, to actually find them, or if you can just find them whenever. I'm sure with this game structure, you could probably just find them as soon as you have the power-up. Um, but you can't finish the quest, obviously. Hmm. This is, this is just gonna be a lot of swimming, apparently. Hello. Got walls. And we got elephant smashing zones, so... Take a pick, I guess. So, down we go. Well, that was easy. Uh, that... Okay, I'll take it. Cool. <laughs> that was a lot more straightforward. I was expecting it to be a lot more hidden than that. So now we got all this treasure. Ah, 613. It's a lot of treasure. So, now the question is... Um... Oh, apparently there was something. I'm looking at this guy, and apparently there was something that we couldn't actually do in, uh... That other place. The cliffs. So, as much as I hate to say it, apparently we should go there. Uh, oh boy. Navigating that death trap again. I'm actually trying to remember, did we have the monkey power then? I don't remember if we had the monkey bullet then. If so, that actually will help a lot. Potentially, if we didn't have it. I wish I could remember stuff. Like, I wish I could remember, like, basic information. Okay, so this way... Luckily there's a warp, so we only have to make this trip once more. Might as well just stay a monkey too, because this is platforming city over here. Oh uh, yeah. This lovely area. Yeah, can I just do this, please? Hey, I can. Cool. <laughs> yes, for cheap strats. I have no problem with using cheap strats in an area like this. Not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we couldn't actually do anything over here. Okay, I see what you were asking for me to do, game. Uh, except that didn't work. Let's hold right. Or hold left. Okay. Uh, the pro okay. This is a problem I have. You slide down the wall. So it's incredibly hard to grab the wall and then press away from it and then actually not slide down. Like, I'm trying to trick this out. But this is actually really a lot more challenging than it looks. Yeah, cause see there, I just hit the wall. Cause I went too far up. I was, I was overcompensating for that. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now what? Oh shoot, don't tell me I have to actually do that. Do what I think they want me to do. Okay... This sucks. Uh... There we go. Actually, that wasn't too terrible. Just a little- just mildly terrible. That's why I think of whenever I hear the phrase, oh, that wasn't too bad. It's like, as opposed to being like... Totally bad. Um, now, is there anything else here, or can I just warp? Um, wow, apparently we're missing a few match champs, it looks like, because apparently we're supposed to have 12, according to this guide. Um, sounds right. Uh, yeah, the monkey bullet kind of makes this area a joke, actually. Um, now, what are we supposed to do here? Okay, I see. What is this platform for, actually? It doesn't seem to serve a purpose at all. 
Um, yeah, there was a lot of stuff we actually missed. Uh, which is gonna be fun, actually me trying to find it. I'll do that mostly off-screen. Cuts. Uh, but that'll be before we finish the final love level, I guess. I assume. Hello, water area. Trying to dodge the fish unsuccessfully there. Okay. I don't know why I swam right. I just guess... I guess just some instinct to go the opposite direction that you're supposed to. And it looks like that instinct paid off, actually. Okay, there we go. Can I pick up items in this? Oh. It auto-transforms back. There we go. So... Now we have to find one more. Apparently... Okay, I know what the last one is based on this guide. It's just a question of where. I know the general location. I sh should specify. Uh, here? Yeah, here. This guide doesn't explain things well in terms of like where you have to go. It's kind of vague. So I'm just trying to figure things out. I might be able to do the under... Wait. Wait a sec. That must be Risky's hideout, actually. The middle blue... Middle right blue spot. That must... With the gray thing on it, that must... Oh. That must be Risky's hideout. At least I'm guessing. Okay, so this is the last other water area, apparently. Hopefully it's as easy as the last one, because that was really easy. Uh, that's not a false wall. I'm just hugging the wall, basically, is my strat to finding this. Um, that's basically how I play most, <coughs> most kind of games where you have to find treasure, because it's like... It's like, I don't know what this is, so I'm just gonna push against all walls. It's a 2D game, so it's like, how many walls all are there in this? Oh, it was actually in plain sight all along. That's, that's my 2 game. Drop down. I don't know why there are all these spiders. They don't seem to actually serve a purpose. Okay. And that's number three. There we go. Um. So. Oh, you, wow, we're actually at the end of the game, according to this. Uh, all that's left is collectibles. I wish I... Okay, one complaint I have, I wish there was actually a, an area total. Um... Like, it doesn't even have to say what screen it is. But as we're actually nearing when we're actually having to go collect stuff, which is gonna be fun, uh, I do wish there was actually a way to see how much you've collected in one area, because, like, which magic champs are we missing in, like, X, Y, and Z? Who knows? So, just hope for the best, I guess. Ow. Oh yeah, I forgot that this area sucks. Okay, so now we have to go back... <laughs> Sadly, the closest warp is, like, to the town. Yeah, so I'm gonna go run back, I guess. Um, to the lighthouse. <laughs> but I have to go through all this area, too, so it's gonna take a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna cut here. Wow, we're almost at time anyway. That, that actually worked out rather nicely. Um, and even though I did technically l I have a guide open, I mean, you can clearly see on the map there's four pools of water, so logic dictates that that's where they're gonna be. Um, how many magic jams do I have? Two? I mean, I suppose we can gauge this by how much we have in the shop. You know, basically, how many magic champs we need kind of are indicative. So based on the, uh, what I'm seeing here, it looks like we have six left, which is kind of a lot. Which we'll be doing in the next episode. So thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Chante Whiskey's Revenge.